Hello, I'm Catherine Statz, and today I'm going to be painting a, a subject matter from southern Utah right outside of Zion Park. Uh, some of the formations in the painting will be in, for, inside the park. I like to paint there. It, it's beautiful morning, evening, and it has great patterns. The, I think it's important to love your subject. And, and be excited enough about it to want to solve the problems that it presents. But after you fall in love, it's time to back off and get down to the business of the technicalities of making that work. So uh, I think I'll start by showing you the subject. I was taken by the large shadow shapes that work so beautifully against the shadow shapes that work so beautifully against these highlight shapes. Uh, this is morning. This mountain is called Mount Kinesava, and we have West Temple inside the Zion Park over here. The, that's pretty much all I have to say about that. I'm going to try to approximate, approximate this painting, but make it better. That, that will be the test. By the way, as well as my study, I'm using a reference from a, a digital shot that was actually scanned from a slide. So the, ref, the color is off, and that's not particularly important because I've painted there so many times and I know what I want. I'll use the study, the painted study for the color reference, and then the digital reference, which is on my computer and also on this larger screen, will help me with what is actually there and give me some some seeds of ideas that I'd like to build on that are not in the study. Let's see how that works. Remember, right now we're just working with the large shapes. Try not to get lost in the minutia because then you're really in trouble. I'm saying that more to remind myself than you. After all, it is the sky that's dropping down into these shadows that will ultimately affect them. If we consider the sky a batch of dust particles, which it is basically, we have more sky between our eye and here than we do our eye and here and so on and so forth, depending on the general, um, what is it, the local color and, and uh, plane of the object itself. See how well this paint sits on top of the other paint? You get a better soft edge that way. Okay, it looks like we can really do some lightening up in, in these lighter planes. I want to keep them cooler in this painting than I did in this one. The shame of it is that I didn't see the proper value to start with. The more times you have to go over the painting, sometimes the, the more it decreases its intensity. But I think we lucked out with that mass up there being the proper proper value when it looked truly dark in the beginning of this painting and it's been not touched.
this painting, any painting, I could work on for months. And I do intend when it's dry and I get back to my studio to do some refining and touching up of it. Things that are so small that I don't think they would translate to the video camera. But um, it's been, it is something that I could re rework and rework until what ends up happening is that you just change things and not improve them. So I think I'll quit while I'm ahead and I've totally thoroughly enjoyed doing this and hope to see you again. Thank you.